Hello and welcome to Tag. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the next 5 intro questions and answers in Power BI. We are getting into advanced mode in a week by week that is by on a video on video. So watch this video till then to understand it clearly how you can answer the questions in your interview. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. What is persistent filter in Power BI? Persistent filters allow users to retain the filters, slicers and other data view changes that they make. Users no longer need to spend their valuable time slicing and dicing report and repeating the same steps each time they return to the embedded report or into Power BI service. With this feature, user will able to pick up right where they left off last time and quickly get to that insight. If the user wish to go back to the original version of the report, then he can click to reset to default option on the Power BI service which is available on the top right corner of the report. So this feature you can also enable it from Power BI desktop file under the file options in options and settings. The next is related versus lookup value. What's the difference between these two? So I made it simple here. Related is it takes only one parameter. Whereas lookup value we can add multiple parameters by using the commands. It can Related can work if they are connected by one to many relationship whereas lookup value can work without any relationship between the tables. Related takes value from one table to another table whereas lookup value takes the value from its own table as well as from another table. And the next is what is the difference between related and related table DAX function? First of all, both of them need the table to be connected to each other with any relationship. And here the related can only takes value from one to many. So it can look the value in the side of one and populate the many side. Whereas the related table, it can take value from many side and bringing the value into one side. If this answer is not clear to you, let's understand with this scenario. Say for example, you have two tables, customer and fact sales. It's connected to one to many relationship. Customer ID is connected to the customer ID in the sales table. Here the situation is you want to get the first purchase date of a customer then you have to take the minimum date from the sales table right and as well as if you want to take the country of the customer which is available on the customer table then it is many to one right yeah in that case you can use like this minimum x related table the sales comma the sales transaction date in that case it will fetch the value from this table and get the minimum value by customer this is how you can able to use this function whereas the related you can just directly use here related equal to customer country then the system will use the relationship and fetch the country information from the country from the customer column to the sales table what is boolean filter expression this is a little bit tricky a boolean expression filters an expression that evaluates true or false. There are several rules that must avoid. They cannot compare columns to other columns. They cannot reference measures. They cannot use an instead calculate function. They cannot use functions that can scan or return a table, including aggregation functions. For an example, the red sales equal to calculate. I am taking the sales measure here and key filters of the product equal to red. You need to use table expressions for more complex filter requirements. 
for an example let's understand with the next one so that it will be clear for you what is table expression a table expression filter applies a table object as a filter it could be reference to a model table but more likely it's a function that returns a table object you can use the filter function to apply complex filter conditions including those that cannot be defined by the boolean filter expressions because in boolean filter expression you can't use multiple filters you can't use the measures on that you can't use the multiple columns on that so those things are restricted over there but here you can use those things for example if you want to get the high margin of the sales so calculate sales instead of key filter you can use the filter option and then the product with the list price is greater than the twice the standard cost or else you can use the same way here the calculate if you want to get the profit by month so calculate sales filter and the values from the mid month where the profit is a measure here so you can't able to use the measure on the boolean expression so measures is greater than zero so you have to understand these two in order to use the better tags over there so these are the top five interview question and answer of this week so so far we have covered almost 50 interview question and answers of power bi so if you haven't watched these things just go and check out in the playlist and understand all those things it will be really helpful for you to answer during the interviews if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video